and welcome back to Miss Mini Budgets. This has been such a week. I have been trying to film this video. This is like my third time now. Um, once the mic quit on me and then the second time the camera stopped on me. It has been a struggle. So hopefully third time's the charm. I get this out. Hello. How are all of you? I hope your day is going better than mine is currently. <laughs> I am doing the budget for the last week of the month of, April, of June. Wow, almost said April, not April, for the month of June. And then after that, later this uh, week, I'm going to be doing a cash unstuffing video as well as like a monthly summary, see how it compares to future past months and fill in some color trackers, things like that. I always love the end of the month and all the fun videos. Those are my favorite ones to do. I hope you stick around for those. Uh, but if not, we're just going to do the budget and I hope you enjoy watching this one. Before we get into the budget, I just want to thank you so much for being here and supporting my channel and me by watching this video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continual support. It means the world to me. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And if you're new, hello, hi, I hope you stick around. I do budgeting things and then I also have future ideas for other things to do like meal preps on a budget and side hustles and all that sort of fun stuff. So I have big plans for this channel. So please subs consider subscribing and stick around. With that being said, let's get into the budget. Okay, so this week we have $408 uh, income and 328 of that went into bills, which is typical for me. Most of my money goes into bills since I am low income. With that being said, that leaves us $80 to put in all the different stuff. So let's get straight into the cash envelopes here. This is my wallet. Let me pull it up. So we are sticking 20 into groceries. I've already bought some groceries this week. This is some extra. Um, I don't know if you've been seeing this, but I've been seeing a lot of talk about possible food shortages coming up. So I am trying to buy extra food like rice and meat and beans and maybe some canned goods. Um, I don't want to be like a conspiracy theorist or anything like that, but I just know like when all of this stuff happened a couple years ago in the grocery stores were, you know, mass chaos. It was very anx anxiety inducing and panicking. And I don't think we're going to get back to that, but you know, I don't want to have to worry so much about food again. So why not have some long shelf life foods, get some extras. So that's what this money is going towards is hopefully to go get some extra stuff later this week to kind of round out our um, pantry. With that being said, I added 20, brings it to 20, 30, 35, 36. Let me know in the comments below, is that something you're worried about? Are you concerned about these possible food shortages that I've been seeing on the news? Or do you just think it's all hype to like fear mongering and stuff like that? Leave a comment. I would love to know your thoughts on it. We are adding five to date, which brings us to five, 10, and 15. And then personal is getting nothing. So that's one, two, three. Not too concerned about that. I don't really have anything I want to buy for myself particularly at the moment. So it's not a big uh, important budget for me up there. Important envelope for me. I don't know what I said. Gas is getting 10. So that's 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80. Seems like a lot, but most of this is going to be going away when I pay off my uh, credit card at the end of the month as I put some gas on my credit card. Um, so that's where most of this is going. I already took my coins out. I'm not bothering to like dig some coins out to put them back in, but I did do that already in one of these, um, in one of these first attempts at this video. So I get that to close. There we go. So we're moving on to the last of the cash envelopes, the ones I don't carry with me necessarily every day, which is clothes, just 20 and 30. I am working out at the moment and I'm really trying to hold off. I would love for these, um, I would love for this um, envelope, the clothes envelope to be for maybe buying new clothes when I hopefully, you know, get to a smaller size. Pedicures has 20, 30, 31, 32. Toiletries is getting five added to it, which brings us to five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, 
home decor has 20, 30, 35. And that will be completing our cash envelopes. So now we are going to move on to sinking funds. Let me pull that up here. Oh, I have like a little dot that's gonna bug me. There we go. Um, and so we are adding $5 to car maintenance and registration here. Uh, so it's 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86. Most of this is going away when I pay off my credit card as well because I bought my registration online. Um, you got like a small like dollar to discount to do so instead of, and it saved me from having to go, um, you know, bother with it physically. So worth it to buy it online, but now I have to pay it out of this. Dead snowballs getting nothing. So we're at 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 37. I bought some new stuff for my videos, um, a new microphone. I had an Amazon gift card and I bought it with that. So I'm really excited. It's not here yet, but hopefully by next week's videos, um, like the start of it, July videos, I should have it. So hopefully that'll help a little bit. Um, I have a weird setup and the microphone I'm working right now just wasn't working. It doesn't sound terrible, but it has like no stand. It's a, it's a whole story, but um, I'm excited for that. And so hopefully the quality of my videos get a little bit better. I'm slowly improving on that. So I am excited for that. Just wanted to give you a little like channel update. With that being said, retirement is at 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. I'm just dropping everything here. Seth's apartment is getting nothing. I think I'm about to be able to retire this envelope, which I'm excited for. Has 40, 45, 46, 47. Um, this is for when he does his clinicals. Seth, my boyfriend, when he does his clinicals for his physical therapy program next spring. And um, I think we've kind of got everything bought that he may need um, or like figuring out. So I may be able to get rid of that soon, which will be exciting. Emergency is getting five added to it. So there's a thousand in the bank. 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 1,034. I was talking to someone actually uh, on Facebook. Um, she had commented in one of my like budgeting groups that she hates using her emergency uh, cash. It just like, it gives her anxiety to use it. And I was like, I totally agree. Like that's what it's for is to use it in emergencies, but I absolutely do not want to use it. Um, there's something about having that cushion there that just is like such a stress reliever for me. And so I do not want to like have to use that even if it is emergency, like it kills a little bit of me to have to use it. Um, so I would love to know if you're kind of the same way because maybe that's just us uh, anxiety people. I don't know, but <laughs> I did think that's funny. I was like, oh, it's not just me that hates to use their emergency fund. Health has 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is just for a rainy day or when I'm not feeling too good to, you know, get some extra chicken noodle soup or something like that. Subscriptions is going to be getting four. I have a couple of quarterly subscriptions to things like deliveries. So this just helps pay for that. Ooh, this is bent. Okay, there we go. Maybe unbend a little. It has 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. Birthdays is getting four as well. Ooh, this is a lot. I have quite a bit of money in here. Which brings us to 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93. So we are close to getting 100 on that, which is very exciting. Okay, holidays is next, which we're adding nothing. And it's 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is just for fun things I like to buy around holidays, like Halloween candy or fireworks during 4th of July, you know, just things like that. So I don't need too much in there. Auntie is sadly getting nothing. Business is getting the last $2 here. Um, I actually do have two things I'm saving for that I figured out I want to get a laminator to make like my own little laminated 
um, envelopes that don't have zippers. I think that would be really nice and help save space in these. And then I want to get a paper cutter. Um, you know, the, you know what I'm talking about, our trimmer, whatever they're called. I want one of those as well. So if you have any recommendations of like brands of either one of those, let me know in the comments because uh, I've never really actually owned either one of them, but I've seen them and I want them. And so that's what I'm saving for my business expenses because I feel like I can maybe turn it into something I use for my Etsy shop, but at the very least I want it for myself. That brings business to 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Christmas has five. So yeah, I'm gonna paper cutter for like things like this because I can't cut in a straight line. So that's not straight. I mean, you can't tell on the camera, but it is not a straight line. So anyways, Christmas has a hundred in the bank. And then 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 40. Anniversary is getting nothing. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ooh, I missed the envelope completely there. And then vacay has a hundred in the bank. And then 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So 133. That will complete this binder and we're finally moving on to the fourth and last binder. I can get this figured out here. There we go. Uh, new glasses is getting nothing added. So that's a five, six, seven, eight. I like the glasses I have and I don't really need new ones anytime soon. So it's not a huge priority for me. New car has 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 27. Keep finding all these little dots all over my printable and it's bugging the heck out of me. Future Pet sadly is getting nothing added to it, which is a sad moment in my life. Uh, it, it brings it to 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. My boyfriend graduates next spring as a physical therapist and then I graduate with my bachelor's in software development as well at the same time. And so we are trying to wait until after we graduate and you know get better paying jobs and not be low income to get a pet we're trying to be responsible but it really sucks because we have huge puppy fever and we want a puppy so badly and i want a cat as well but we're trying to wait and be responsible adults but it is rough so we're hoping to save for that and maybe that'll tide us over so we can really spoil whatever future pets we get baby has 10 15 16. i am not pregnant and we are not planning on having a baby anytime soon this is just for future Future wedding is getting five added to it. So we're at 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. That was a lot. <laughs> While we are engaged, we're not planning on getting married anytime soon. And then Disney is not getting anything. So that's at 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're at 30. And then that will bring us to our challenges. And as always, I have $10 to put into my $40 monthly. Uh, whatever I have left over from my grocery budget, I'll probably put into my one and $5 challenges because I haven't really added much to them lately, the past few weeks. Um, so I would like to add something to that maybe in the next week or two. With that being said, that is my budget for the end of this month. Um, I hope you will see the videos I have coming out for the rest of the week, the unstuffing and the monthly summy videos. Those are going to be a lot of fun. They're my favorite type of videos to do, so I hope you enjoy them as well. But if not, I will see you next week for the first week of July's video. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.